Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For this video, we are going to solve quadratic equations by factoring. Factoring or zero factor theorem states that if P and Q are algebraic expressions, then P times Q is equal to zero if and only if P is equal to zero or Q is equal to zero. This means that if ax squared plus bx plus c, our quadratic expression, can be written as a product of two first-degree polynomials, then the solutions can be found by setting each factor equal to zero. For our first example, say find the solutions of 2x squared minus 4x equals zero. First, make sure that the equation is equated to zero. Next, factor the quadratic expression. Since the binomial 2x squared minus 4x has a greatest common factor of 2x, dividing the binomial 2x squared minus 4x by 2x gives the other factor of x minus 2. This brings our equation to 2x times quantity x minus 2 equals 0. Applying zero factor theorem, 2x equals 0, x minus 2 equals 0, 0 divided by 2 is 0. On the other equation, transpose negative 2 to the right side or add positive 2 on both sides gives an x value of positive 2. Hence, the solutions of 2x squared minus 4x equals 0 are 0 and positive 2. For our second example, say solve the equation x squared minus 8x equals negative 12. Again, we need to equate our quadratic equation by 0. Here, we will transpose negative 12 to the left side. So, it will change its sign. It will now become plus 12. Equation now is x squared minus 8x plus 12 equals 0. Next, factor the quadratic expression. Here are some tips on how to easily find factors. First, observe the second operation. If it is addition, then the operations on the binomial factors are either both addition or both subtraction, depending on the first operation. In the example x squared minus 8x plus 12 equals 0, the first operation is subtraction. This means that the binomial factors are differences. Next, get the factors of x squared, that is x times x, place it on the first terms of the binomials, now think of factors of 12 that when you add gives 8, since 8 is the numerical coefficient of the linear term. So that is 12 times 1 or 6 times 2. Basically, the factors that will give a sum of 8 are 6 and 2. So we will take those values. The factors now of x squared minus 8x plus 12 equals 0 are quantity x minus 2 and quantity x minus 6. By zero product property, x minus 2 will be equal to 0, x minus 6 is equal to 0. Transpose the constants to the right side of the two equations, x values now are positive 2 and positive 6. For our third example, solve for x of the quadratic equation x squared plus x minus 20 equals 0. In this example, the equation is already equated by 0, so we proceed to factoring. Notice that the second operation is subtraction. Expect that the binomial factors are expressed as sum and difference. Next, factor the first term x squared, that is x times x. Then think of factors of 20 that when subtracted gives a difference of 1. Those are 4 and 5. So here, Take note that the higher factor will take the sign of the first operation. So in this case, 5 should be positive. Our factors now are quantity x plus 5 and quantity x minus 4. By zero product property, x plus 5 will be equal to 0. x minus 4 will also be equal to 0. Hence, the values of x are negative 5 and positive 4. For our last example, solve the equation 6x squared minus 11x equals 10. Following the previous steps, equate this equation by 0, 
Transpose positive 10 to the left side. Equation now is 6x squared minus 11x minus 10 equals 0. Next, factor the first and last terms. 6x squared has factors of 6x times x and 3x times 2x. Meanwhile, the last term 10 has factors of 10 times 1 and 5 times 2. Also notice that the second operation is minus. This means that the binomial factors are expressed as sum and difference. Now, we need to look for pairs of factors in which the difference of the products is 11x or our second term. Say take 6x times x and 5 times 2. 6x times 2 gives 12x minus x times 5 or 5x gives a difference of 7x. Since that is not equivalent to 11x, then it is an incorrect factor pairs. Try 3x times 5 minus 2x times 2. 3x times 5 is 15x minus 2x times 2, that is 4x, gives us a difference of 11x. This means that these factor pairs are correct. Our concern now is to where we are going to place each of these factors. Since the first operation is minus, the larger product should be negative. Here, we will place 5 on the difference of the two terms so that when multiplied, gives negative 15x. Placing the remaining terms, we have quantity 3x plus 2 times quantity 2x minus 5 equals 0. By zero product property, 3x plus 2 equals 0. 2x minus 5 equals 0. For 3x plus 2 equals 0, transpose positive 2 to the right side, it will now become negative 2. So we have 3x equals negative 2. Dividing both sides by positive 3 gives us x equals negative 2 third. On the other equation, 2x minus 5 equals 0, transpose negative 5 to the right side, that will become 2x equals positive 5. Dividing both sides by 2 so that we can isolate the variable x, that is x equals 5 over 2. Hence, the solutions of the quadratic equation, 6x squared minus 11x equals positive 10 are negative 2 third and positive 5 over 2. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. God bless.